Where first and new at 11, Horry County Schools announced that 42% of its virtual students are failing one or more classes. News 13's Maria DeBone live in our newsroom right now. And Maria, is this right? The school board is now figuring out where the virtual program goes from here? Yeah, that's right. This is for the next school year. The virtual program was created because of the pandemic. Superintendent Dr. Rick Maxey said this data is alarming. He said it's not about the teachers and congratulated them for doing a great job, but said every student is not equipped to work in a virtual environment. Around 2,100 students are currently in the K-12 virtual program. The highest percent of students failing is high school students with 59% failing one or more classes. Because of this data, the administration staff came up with three options for the future of the program. One, continue the program as is, make adjustments to the program by establishing perimeters for enrollment, and three, dis dissolving the K-12 virtual program for the 2022-2023 school year. Analyzing the data over the last year and a half, the students just have not been very successful in that program. Uh, there's a lot of students that have a difficult time working independently and staying on task and completing assignments, and so we are seeing that. There are a little over 100 virtual staff members. If the program went away, Borsier said she's confident they'd be able to find positions within the school district for them due to the current number of vacancies. The board and administration team will continue to look and talk about the options before making a final decision at a later board meeting. Back to you.